I created this habit tracker in Excel in only five minutes. Tracking is a fantastic way to start and maintain new habits. As habits expert Gretchen Rubin says, you manage what you measure. If you don't have a lot of time to fiddle with a long complicated Excel spreadsheet, stick around. I'll show you how to build a minimal yet effective habit tracker. It has everything you need and nothing you don't. Hi, I'm Rebecca and I teach Excel users how to create spreadsheets that they can be proud of. If you use Excel in any capacity, you're in the right place. No matter what kind of spreadsheet you have, I'm sure that it could use a little updating. That's why I created the Spreadsheet Tune-Up, a free training just for you. In five short videos, I'll teach you the first steps to optimize any spreadsheet. The first thing that I'm going to do is create a canvas for my habit tracker. These are the same steps that I took in my dashboard video, so check that out if you haven't. The first thing is go to the page layout tab and change the workbook theme. I really prefer this to any other way of changing the colors and the fonts because number one, I've already, I already have one picked out for all the workbooks that I like to create, but also there's just so many options and I like to be able to create wholesale updates like that. The second thing is to create a canvas. So I'm going to go all the way out to, let's see, like a Z and change the width of these to two. That just makes them more like a box, a box grid and then select what's visible here down to let's say 30 and shade shade the background of this that creates the background for the habit tracker now just to keep things clean and neat i'm going to hide all the rows below this so i'm going to select row 31 and then use the keyboard shortcut Control shift down that selects all of these rows right click and hide then do the same thing for the column go here control shift with the right arrow this time that selects all of the columns to the right and hide now we have only the working area um, and it's shaded a background color which i just think looks really cool the next thing to do is create your list of habits i have 10 here and I just copied them and pasted them to save time. <laughs> the next thing to do is uh, create a, uh, a box up here that has your starting date. And I'm choosing April 1st. Oops. Now I'll expand this row. Add a little bit of shading to make this look different. Just a touch of formatting really quick. Now here is where I'm going to be creating the dates. I'm going to do six weeks, but it's all based on a formula. So stick with me. We're going to be using the sequence formula and the rows are going to be nothing. So leave that one blank and just use a comma to go to the next argument. The columns are, this is how many columns are you going to need? I'm going to do six weeks of in, in this board. So I'm going to just type in six times seven just to make it easy. So if I wanted to change it later, um, it's already there and it's not just like a random number. <laughs> the start will obviously be this starting date and then I'll close that formula. Now you can see that it's a spill range, which is nice, but it's also not fitting here. So I'm just going to do a tiny bit of formatting, go to the more number formats and go to date. I'm going to do this very small one and then I'll make this text smaller so that I can see all of it. That's not working. So I want to make it bold and then instead turn it at an angle. There we go. Now that works. Okay, now I'm gonna make a box. So just do sh some shading, or not shading, make a border here. There we go. Now the main habit tracker is created. I'm going to select everything in here and go to data and data validation, allow um, a list, and then the only options that I wanna allow is one or zero. That's so that I can have this drop down like this. 
and I just filled in a bunch of values so we could see what it's going to look like. Now I'm going to select all of it and change the, um, the text or the font color to the same as the background so you can't see it and instead add conditional formatting. Here's a new rule and so format only cells that contain the cell value is equal to one and then the format is I'm going to choose a color for the fill we use this dark blue so now you can see oh I made a mistake I have to, the font color has to be the same as the fill there we go now they're hidden now you can only see the so when you when you put a one in any of these it just shades it that color. The reason that I chose to uh, check things off with the number one is so that I could create a done row. So I will now use a function sum to just add up all of the numbers in this column and that just shows how many are completed. The thing that I don't like about this is then at the end, there's all these zeros if you haven't completed anything. So I'm going to add something to this function. Uh, I'm going to add an if. So if the sum is greater than zero, then it's going to return that sum. But if it's not greater than zero, I'm going to return a blank. So now when I drag this over, you can see that it just removed all those zeros. So we're not showing the zeros. Now the last thing that I want to do is to show a really cool chart. So I'm selecting these values, the dates and the done row. And I'm going to go to insert, go to recommended charts and see which one you like. I like this stacked area chart. So then I'll select OK. And I'm basically going to remove every single thing from this chart because I just want like a, a very basic like visual representation of how I'm doing across these six weeks with my habits. So I'm going to go to the format and remove the fill and remove the outline so that it's just against the backdrop. And then I'm going to line it up here you can see these lines. I'm going to try and line it up with across the whole thing. So now this is dynamic. So I'm, if I'm deleting some, you can see this value is going down. And it's just showing, like I said, how I'm doing as the month is progressing. So let's see what happens if I fill this, um, fill this in a little bit more. there it is. Can you believe it? We're already done. Will you use this tracker for personal or professional habits? Let me know in the comments.